go. So what we have here is quite a large bathhouse, we think probably in estate baths rather than um, a, a simple domestic bathhouse. On the, on the basis of the size, it's a, a very large and um, um, there are no other domestic buildings in the vicinity. And we've found very few domestic finds here, so there's, a, there's an absence of bone and pottery and um, those type of finds. Um, but the size of it, the nature of its construction, all suggests um, a, a fairly sophisticated bath. Yeah. Um, with, the, with the drawing water through as well, it's the hot air by the looks of it. The actual order of the rooms and the actual entrance to it at the moment is a bit of a problem. So now, yeah. But we do have four rooms and we have a nice abside structure. We have what looks like abside all decorative features. Because yeah, this abside piece here has had pillars sat on it. So we know that this area is peaceful, yeah, yeah. but we wondered if there's sort of a plinth for seating area around the outside. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. That's the floor surface there. Another possible internal wall here. So would this be a big structure to have? Bloody just huge. To, I was going to say, so yeah. it's associated just with... Absolutely the massive. It's absolutely massive for that. It's a, almost, it's got to be something more communal. It can't, you know, it's, it's bigger than the villa. <laughs> yeah. You know, the villa, you know, if you come down this way. Like environmental. 